Well guys, good morning, good morning. It's me again, Ryan, and I'm back with a really weird open again. Yeah, I've been having really bad opening trades. But I got stopped out twice. I was right at all. I was short here. And look where it is now. I'm all out, obviously. Uh it's just I don't wanna wait till later because uh you know i gotta prepare for work and i gotta make coffee as well yeah so that's why i'm all out here even though i should have uh held but who knows that's, that this is going to happen right so i was actually trying to short it here because this moves crazy so i was just i since i got stopped out twice twice i was shorting it slowly uh my risk was around 14 30 area around this area that's that was my risk it got rejected this level so that's what i was risking short here short here took some off I added i was i don't know there's something that i i think that's really gonna go down to uh to uh to this area because if you look it's really really overextended it's time to sell so yeah so that's what i did uh although looking at this it's a bit frustrating because i know it's probably it could probably go to 1284 which is a previous day close or somewhere let's see where it should go maybe here 13 yeah i have a line in there so you know it's fine i got a decent really decent profit in here and yeah so let's uh Watch my, my trade. Don't judge me on this. Yeah, so I was actually closely watching SRNE. As you can see there, it got rejected at 1450. Uh, there's like heavy volume of 1.7 million in there. So I tried chasing it short, took some off. I was risking 1450. That was my original stop. But I held because, uh, oh my God. Yeah, and then I flip it too long. Just look at that. I got stopped. The one stop. So instead of getting out, I flip. I flip my position. And I took it long again. And I took it short. And I was just, what am I doing? So I said, okay, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trade. This is clearly, clearly over trade. I should have just held short right at the VWAP, risk this area, watch if there's momentum and just bail out. So what I did here is FOMO. I bailed and quickly flip my position, even though it's a Yeah. Look at this. It moved about 50 cents, almost 50 cents, this first candle. That was a really, really bad move. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes I do, I do that. And it's just really hard for me to control myself sometimes. And I know you guys can relate. Let me know if you guys can relate. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of my struggles in day trading, especially trading at the open is FOMO. Like you don't want to miss this kind of moves. Now I'm short, as you can see. So after taking it long, stopped out. I think I stopped out here, flipped it like right away why would you do that right the good thing it worked if not i three lost three stops is bad it's a really good profit here now i should have taken it yep good thing i took it so i'm not yet in green but i'm yep there you go so that's what made me back a little bit closer to green let's see what happens there Okay, that was a really good one. So that's a crazy move. Imagine that that's like I don't know, sixty cents. So fourteen ten is where I entered. That was a crazy, crazy seventy cent move. So yeah, I mean, you could survive, but you have to be really, really quick. It frustrates me when this thing happens. Uh, Sorrento is. I don't know, probably not. because it's a cheap stocks, it's everyone can easily buy it. Well, I kind of prefer trading stocks that are um 
twenty dollars above. So everyone's, I think, tr just trading this. So I, I, I sorted it again. I stopped out. And I said, okay, uh, I'm back in red. Sorting it again, risking. I, I want to risk fourteen thirty, but it's a bit, a bit of a risky trade. And I said maybe I'm gonna add somewhere closer to it, which fourteen fifteen. I I actually removed my stop, which is a really really bad idea. And I said I'm gonna risk fourteen thirty area. So I shorted it um, without hitting. And and one thing about it is the spread sometimes is crazy. That's why I added with uh, short at ask. So that I'm now in uh, fourteen oh. Fourteen zero zero five. So for let's say fourteen dollars, so that I took some off just myself because this just moves heavy, moves about forty cents as you can see here. Forty cents. I'm looking for at least a forty cent move or thirty cent move. Somewhere here, I should. I don't know. I was profit. I don't know why there. So I was kind of like looking for for thirteen sixty. Yeah, it was it was really tough. Uh, it moves so fast. That's why I'm putting uh, limit orders there now because it just moves so fast and even even process itself. It was right. Look at that right here. This could have been a really really nice move. If I didn't stop out my this is a manual stop actually instead of getting out instead of stopping stopping out automatically I stop myself out and flip it to long I should have yeah 1430 1340 ish almost a dollar move I was right it's just great me so short here i added because 1430 is my um my risk i can add more because my risk is really close yep so i'm back in green yes so this trade i mean this i made it to break even at least and this i made it back to green with this you know a good amount of profit now i stopped out there uh, i'm not sure what i did after let's fast forward this if i shorted or long maybe i think i was just waiting for a good opportunity and looking closely to 1430 risk and risk 1455 five day everyone was thinking that this is a long i said long for me if it is you can see i mean you will know in in, in time and sales like there's every time it pops up red red pops up red red pops up red so let's fast forward a bit yeah so it's uh claiming view app below view app now and let's uh watch my next trade so i really wanted to take it short i actually my risk was too, too up above because i really want to short it and i don't want to get stopped again so I was risking 50 area and 30, 30 and 50 area. I I was I planned to add slower slowly. Uh because I always get stopped in this area and I felt that it's it's gonna drop to low day at least here. I had a feeling that it's gonna drop and risk 1430 and break low of day. So let's fast forward this a bit. I added more. Took some off just to ease myself. Small profit. Could have taken more in there. Just we add back. Didn't do it. Just take. Taking profit here. Come on. Yeah, I didn't take profit. I didn't remember what I did here, but normally, like if it's struggling like this, take profit. Just maybe I don't know, twenty-five percent, since my average is somewhere here. 
and since i took some off i'll probably add back somewhere at 14.15 or 14.10 like i will add somewhere here in this area i really really want to short this this is not kind of my style but you know uh, i always get stopped when i trade sh like short term uh momentum so i was kind of like maybe i'll add slowly 1430 see if it holds if not i'm gonna go into red i get stop here i put my stop somewhere at 1440 so i just i don't get wicked average is 97 1897 somewhere here back so i was kind of confident that it got rejected here lower 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 yeah so there you go actually thinking of adding more i think i added one one last bit yep risking 38 so uh, my average is around 14 dollars 50 cent risk and i'll probably just take profit at this area this area yeah it was really weird uh could have been a one and done trade here with this short one and done just too early I've waited should have waited and look at this when it gets rejected here Boom. FOMO greed I mean yeah it's making kind of a bull flag here so it's scary if it breaks this triangle if it breaks this triangle then yeah i need to prepare myself to get stopped 1415 uh actually have a order in making lower lows a uh, lower highs on drop break this if it breaks 90 then we're in good shape hmm. we're still green but if i get stop here we'll, we'll be back in red. there you go yep i yep took some more off there you go that's what i was gonna have taken more at 1350 but I wasn't fast enough. Looking at my uh, my unrealized, I think. I said, should I take fifty percent? Should I take twenty five percent? That's why I'm kind of hesitant to take a profit in there. Yeah, I'm glad it worked. We got stopped there, then we're doomed. So I was hoping for another flush. I'm at 13.50.40 at low days 13.37. I've taken profit there. I didn't. Patiently. I see orders at 50. Looks like it's going to go there, but it's like, what the heck? So this is a range. The range, and this will be. Right here. So if it goes about thirteen seventy five and holds there, it's probably gonna go. There's like a wick. It means someone was just dumping. Take some more off. Job.
Yeah, I was trying to be patient actually, but uh, having a bad, weird feeling today because of this. But or if this video is oh, there you go. Took some more off. <laughs> That, that was cool and almost all out i didn't even want to wait because i just recap i got a really decent amount of profit here so, yeah So we're almost all out, I think. I think still have a few shares left. Not sure why I'm not taking profit. Not sure if I caught it on video. Yep, there you go. All out. Whew. Really, really crazy experience. But I'm glad. Ooh, where it is now? Boy. Crazy. Crazy move. Who knows it's gonna go Aye. oh well frustrating right so yeah it went all the way to previous close i was right but i took profit Took profit last year while I was doing a recap. It flushed, flushed, flushed. I didn't even know. <laughs> yeah, I'm all out. And without me. Oh well. Okay, if you like this video, even took a bit longer, please subscribe, please like. You know? Mm -hmm. If you've been watching my videos, don't forget this. And let's see, if, hope for a better tomorrow. And have a good day, everyone.